Hello viewers, welcome to another tutorial. Today I'm going to be showing you how to do a soul voice in Audacity. So this should be a quick and straightforward tutorial and let's get started. So we start off with recording our voice. So for the voice you can need to sound, well basically in the film Jigsaw is basically dying. So you, you basically need to sound like you're dying. So a mix between your normal voice and a bit of Batman thrown in there. <laughs> if you kind of get my drift, so you have to kind of um, you have to sound a bit like this, you know, sound like you have like, sound like you have a cold and you're about to die, you know, something like that. Not too like, you know, Batman, but not so like, happy. That's basically the best way I could describe it. So, um, I've recorded one right here and it sounds like this. Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. So you can sort of hear what you kind of need to do here. So the first thing you're going to do is when you recorded this is we're going to go to effect and change the pitch. So we're going to change the pitch by about, um, I'd say about 14%. Um, you know, it could vary, but I'm just going to say 14%. Okay, so now what we're going to do is it's going to sound like this. Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. Now it just sounds like even more ill. So now what we're going to do is we're going to um, select all this, so double click, um, control or command D to duplicate, and we're going to select this one, and we're going to change the pitch on, wait, we're going to invert it first, because in the actual film, um, his voice is processed so people don't know who he is, and if you just change the pitch, all you can do to get someone's voice back is just put the pitch back up, so we're going to you know, add a bit of filtering to it, so we're going to add the invert. Now we're going to add effect, change pitch again, and then we're going to do it a bit higher more this time. So we're going to change it by about an extra 16. So this is basically is changed by about 30% overall on this bottom clip here. And if you've done it right, hopefully it should sound like Jigsaw. Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. Now right, that sounds more demonic, but you know, you could change the pitch a bit more. You know, so, um, like, I think I lowered it a bit too much on that one. So if I lower it by about 10, duplicate, invert, and then change the pitch again, you know, it could vary, but it's usually around the 10 to 15 mark. It's very dependent on your voice and how low your voice is, etc. So if you're like 13 years old and doing this, you may want to, you know, lower the pitch a bit more. So... Hello YouTube, I want to play a game. Now keep in mind, it does sound a bit weird due to the background noise. I think a car passed as I was recording this. But you get a rough idea on what it sounds like. If you mix this in with some music, for instance, you can't really make out the uh, strange background noise. For example, I live on a busy road. So you can probably hear in the background now there's a load of cars going by. It's kind of annoying, but I don't really have much choice over it. So. Voila, this is the saw effect. Hello YouTube, I wanna play a game. I'd say it's fairly accurate. Um, you could probably do better than me in, in terms of this, but you know, you get a rough idea on what it's gonna be like. So, that's it for this tutorial. I am Hayden from Flashback Effects, and goodbye viewers.